Hi, this is Ahmed Alogaili and Manos Brilakis, presenting case 230 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case in which multiple challenges had to be overcome to successfully recanalize a proximal right coronary artery CTO. The patient presented with this neon exertion that was considered to be an engine equivalent because she had normal ejection fraction and a single vessel coronary disease with an occlusion of the right coronary artery. Two attempts for opening the RCA CTO at a different institution were not successful. And this is um, attempts to engage the right coronary artery. The RCA had an anterior and downward takeoff and it was very challenging to engage. A multipurpose guide failed, but eventually using an AL2 as well as a 7 French CBU for the left, were able to engage the right coronary artery and advance the, a guide extension inside the proximal RCA. But this uh, anterior and downward pointing takeoff was one of the major challenges that made the canalization of this CTO more challenging. Dual injection did demonstrate that um, the CTO had a clear but blunt proximal cap. It had a long occlusion length with the distal vessel reconstituting through septal collaterals. And the distal cap seemed to be at the bifurcation of the PDA and to the right posterior lateral. So given um, the blunt proximal cap, the difficulty with support and engagement in the presence of septal collaterals, as well as the two previous failed attempts and the long occlusion length, we decided to go with the primary retrograde approach, and if that didn't work, go with ADR. However, ADR we knew was going to be very challenging because of the bifurcation of the distal cap. We used a, a Coraflex microcatheter in the SUO3 guide wire. We served the second septal that was connecting but had a lot of tortuosity, and we were unable to cross that septal collateral. We then switched to the first septal, and then did once again surfing. We used a Sion Black guide wire. And then after rapid turning and advancement, um, the wire did um, find its way uh, going towards the right posterior descending artery. And this is an example where surfing can be very useful. Multiple turns had to be negotiated before actually finding uh, the connection with uh, the distal vessel. And here, unfortunately, we see that the wire actually goes towards the apex instead of toward the base. So we did confirm that we were in the true lumen, and yes, we were into the PDA, however, going in the wrong direction. So how to deal with this? Um, what we did is um, we advanced the microcatheter as far down as we could, and then we switched the wire. We, we took a filter XTR guide wire with a larger bend, and we were then able to advance it going retrogradely towards the distal RCA. The problem was that we could not get the microcatheter to cross. We used a guide extension, but uh, still it would not cross. And then uh, we eventually switched to a Corsair XS microcatheter, and this um, finally successfully crossed into the right PDA. Then we did a tip injection, and this confirmed that indeed we had uh, um, a blunt distal cap at the bifurcation of the PDA into the right posterior lateral. So we used a Gladius Mongo guide wire. We were able to penetrate a little bit into the occlusion and then knuckle the wire, which is great given the long occlusion length. But then we had difficulty advancing the microcatheter through that area. So we were able, however, to get the wire quite up, close to the proximal cap. So then we decided to try some undergrade crossing attempts to make the reverse card. So Gaia Next 2 uh, wire. However, the wire kept on ending on a small branch, so we do have some retrograde dissection, but we were unable to make the wire, the undergrade wire, to go into the extra plug space. So we decided to use the base technique or balloon-assisted subintimal entry. This is a large balloon 4.0 with an undergrade microcatheter next to the balloon. And this is we're trying to push and create a dissection and a loop into the extra plug space going undergrade. 
And we did see that this was a large vessel, one, two, three, four, five, six millimeters almost in diameter. So we used uh, a bigger balloon. This is a 5.0 millimeter balloon, but once again, we were unable to get through. We advanced the microcatheter and attempted an injection, the Carlino technique, but once again, we were not into the extra plug space. And um, eventually, we inserted the retrograde knuckle wire a little bit closer to the proximal cap and then tried uh, to use another undergrade guide wire. So this is a Gaia next to guide wire that was uh, advanced undergrade, and after multiple attempts, we were able to make the undergrade uh, wire knuckle along the course of the retrograde guide wire. So now that we have overlapping guide wires, things are much simpler. We advanced uh, the guide extension using the inch warming technique further down into the occlusion, and then um, we were able to advance the retrograde guide wire using the guide extension reverse car technique into the undergrade guide extension. So this is, the, of course, the turning point. Uh, and uh, this is when the retrograde wire gets into the undergrade guide extension. We could not, however, exchange, uh, advance the retrograde Corsair excess inside the guide extension. So we changed the microcatheter. There might have been some microcatheter fatigue, and this time we were able to get the fine cross into the guide extension, externalized an R350 guide wire, predilated the intravascular ultrasound, placed the multiple overlapping drug eluting stents that were post dilated, and then got a nice final result with TIMI3 flow into the right coronary artery. Several lessons from this case. The first one is that. Uh, Persistence and changing approaches are important when challenges arise during CTO and any PCI for that matter. In this case, we did have a long occlusion with a bifurcation of the distal cap, and cases like this, using the retrograde approach, uh, maximizes the chances of success. We were able to cross a septal, but the wire kept on going undergrade towards the distal PDA, but using a different guide wire, we were able to redirect it and advance it retrograde to the distal RCA. We did have difficulty crossing the septal with um, a microcatheter, and this was solved by using a guide extension as well as different microcatheters. We initially used uh, a Corsair excess that went uh, through the collateral, and then we used a fine cross that crossed the distal RCA and went all the way into the undergrade guide catheter. And then finally, for doing a reverse card, we had difficulties with undergrade wiring. We did use large balloons to intentionally dissect the vessel, and we were finally able to advance an undergrade Gaia Next 2 to overlap the retrograde wire and facilitate the reverse card. Thank you.